guys welcome to always sometimes monsters this game just came out uh, yesterday yes yesterday and uh, that's pretty awesome I pre-ordered this I saw a little bit of it um, before it was released and it just totally blew my mind I definitely definitely wanted to play it so that's exactly what I'm gonna do uh, I did play the very, very, very opening beginning scene so I could choose my... I, I would have time to just kind of look at all the characters and choose which character I wanted to be. So that's all straightened away. Let's, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Always Sometimes Monsters is uh, an RPG Maker style game, which I'm not usually too fond of, but this is basically entirely story, which is awesome and amazing. Um, lots of... Uh, game-changing decisions that you can make, a lot of moral decisions you can make. Uh, I believe there's ways to die, so I'm going to be trying to save a lot. The thing about this is I'm not going to cut a lot of it. In fact, I probably won't cut any of it unless it's something I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, time to, uh, time to assign voices. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it. Grr. I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here, I make the rules. Here, I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Dot dot dot. Piss off is basically what he's thinking. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. That is a huge strain trying to make my voice go that deep. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see, what voice am I gonna do here? Uh... Hey sirs, got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck. Get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. Heh, <laughs> could you imagine that? Winding up back here again. Goddamn schizo. Are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right. We've got to keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. Huh? What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then, the choice is yours. 
Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way. Oh, whoops. Either way, the choice is always yours. I'm gonna listen. If you shoot him, you do shoot him, and it's game over. <laughs> I was, I was like, I wonder when I went to choose my characters the first time, you just shoot him and the game ends. Uh, if you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. Oops, I don't know who was supposed to be saying that. I didn't see a portrait, so I assumed it was the uh, mysterious person. There are many roads between yours and mine, but all the roads start from the source. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to spot, it's hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain really was. And now we're playing as this dude with glasses! Uh, I was about to say something. Oh yeah, about that whole, uh, have you ever been dragged to a party by someone? Uh, what if that party was life? I, I actually found that really, really cool. Um, yeah, I found that really, really cool. And I could kind of relate to that. Is, uh, you know, being dragged to a party. And did you really even have a choice not to go? And, and uh, you know, when you get to the party, you're all awkward. And, you know, eh, and I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, let's speak to this person immediately in front of us. Come on, hurry up! Or did you change your mind? You can't just invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck-up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay. I love you too. Don't like that person! Feed the fish? Yes! Blub, blub, blub. Blub, blub. Oh no! We have an invading mouse pointer! Phew, it ran off. You must have scared it. What's this? What's this? Can I look at anything? I, this is not going to be cut. This is going to be me pretty much looking at everything. I'm a very thorough Let's Player, and I expect to continue to do that. So basically, what we're doing here is we're picking who the main character is going to be. You can pick, as far as I know, you can pick anybody, anybody here. So you could pick this girl. Hey, Larry. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks. It's been a long time coming. Well earned, though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight. Only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice, though. But maybe later. Maybe later. Gotta see who else is here. So basically, whoever you decide to toast with is going to be your main person. And to save some time, I already know who I'm going to pick. And it's going to be this girl here. How's your evening going? Oh, Larry! Happy birthday, man! Thank you, is your night alright? Yeah, great party. Just sipping on this bottle of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I'd only have one tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. Let's toast. Alright, let's drink! Give me a second to run to the patio. 
there's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to play this game. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Oh, let's let's pick the cat. Meow. Here, little kitty. Don't run away from me. Oh, actually, these guys are the developers. They put themselves <laughs> they put themselves in uh, the game. Jake, we've got to at least try it. Yeah, maybe. Come on, what have we got to lose? How about a year of my life? Oh, don't be so dramatic. You know, it's kind of freaky how suddenly my dogs changed their opinion of you. It's kind of a sus it's kind of suspicious, actually. Yeah, Jake, that makes a lot of sense. I hatched a covert plan in order to make your dogs like me that so that I could steal them away from you and live wild and free on the open road. <laughs> Yeah, his, uh, you, you see his shirt says, uh, Vagabond. Uh, so these are, these are the two developers here. I wouldn't put it past you. Can we please get back to naming this thing? So I'm pretty sure that this is them talking about the game. You can say hi to a couple people if you want. Hey, you still dating your little hottie? Uh, you know, I really don't mind gingers, but, uh, this guy's, uh, very red-skinned, and, uh, he's got a funny-looking face, so. You two are such a nice couple. Yeah, Kevin. Still together. In fact, that's who I'm looking for now. I'll talk to you later. Alright, let's go outside. You can only pick your love interest from the patio. You can only pick your main character that you control throughout the game inside and I chose oh and these two guys here you cannot choose if you can I'm the one going rah, rah, rah. I'm the one going back and forth I lose myself a lot these two you can't choose from <gasps> barbecue mmm that chicken smells good give me a thing what is that soda Gatorade beer I get out of my way you're in the way of my cat move here we go. I could use another beer, but I've got to find my baby first. Larry's waiting on me. Alright, I chose this baby. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. If you say he's waiting on me, you get to look around and meet more people before choosing. But this is going to be my love interest for the game. He's waiting on us. We gotta go though, he's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle we brought. That's amazing! What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. And I have decided her name is going to be Glory. Glory, glory, glory. I just think it's a pretty, uh, just, uh, I, uh, <laughs> funny story behind this. I ended up choosing this name for my Apex character in Starbound because I couldn't think of a name and I was like, uh, and I had a song stuck in, stuck in my head and I was like, screw it, I'm just going to name Glory. And then I got really attached to that character, and it was uh, it was really fun, and that's now my main, even though it was uh, my third character I created. And so, uh, yeah, her name's gonna be Glory, and I think it's kind of charming, actually. Okay, my turn. And this here is going to be Gabriel. I was not feeling very creative today, so I was trying to think of some good names to use. And, uh, you know, I really like the name Gabriel. I really like the name Gabriel. Uh, strangely, I hate the name Gabe. Gabriel's nice though, so. Sincerely, Glory and Gabriel. Glory and Gabriel. Uh, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good together too. So, let me see that for a second. I can either change it, I think. Sounds perfect, sounds perfect. All right, Gabriel, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Mwah. Good luck. Yay! Okay. Wait, wait, now can I grab some chicken? Actually, I prefer those steaks. 
not a big fan of chicken. I could use another beer, but I've got to find my baby first. Larry's waiting on me. You know, your baby is right here. Da 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 da. Here's one of the other guys you could have picked. Oh, there you are, Gabriel. I was just mentioning you to someone. Glory, do you care if I steal your date? Yes. Sorry, Jamie. We were just heading inside to talk to Larry. You should go introduce yourself. He's hosting this. Not a bad idea. Gotta keep on that guest list. Yeah, for all the free grilled chicken and beers. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, am I so excited to play this game! I'm so excited. Always, sometimes, monsters. I was really expecting this game to be a um, another RPG Maker horror uh, or a uh, monster game kind of thing. You know, like a lot of the ones that have been coming out. Ebe, uh, Mad Doctor, Mad Father, <laughs> Mad Doctor, Mad Father, uh, Mad Father Doctor. So, Larry, before we toast, but it's actually not. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't have any horror elements to it, but it does have some dark elements to it and some uh, kind of a serious, serious vibe. There's some funny moments, but there's also some serious things that happen and decisions that you need to make that's going to alter the direction of the game, which I love, as you know. So, Larry, before we toast, let me guess. You've got a book you wanted to pitch? Just hear me out. No need, Glory. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got a talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good in word. I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you an advance. That's, that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show. Him. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. Yay! Happy, happy, happy! To ambition! To success! To getting rich! I'll toast. To great partners, to world domination, to the future, to not screwing up. I am so tempted to do not screwing up. Uh... <laughs> that's, so, that's so me. Uh... I should probably do great partners. To not screwing up. I'm gonna be... I'll try to be more positive. To great partners. Clink. It really didn't matter who, su who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? If you select no, you can go back and repick your peoples. This is the one. One year later. Dubs... Dubstown? Dubstown Apartment. Created by Justin Amir Amirkani and aw, I couldn't read the second one. Sorry, second guy. Can I move? No. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, I'm using a new program to record this, so sorry if anything's a little bit different from usual. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. I beg to differ. There's always... Well, no. There's not always a right and wrong. Yes, there is. Hold on. What time did I get in last night? Shit. Looks like my Peeble sleep monitor got reset. What? What's that? I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month cir circadian's nat circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. What? I can't change anything. Oh! Okay, so I think... I'm not entirely sure what that means. There we go. All set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Um, I think there's always like, okay, there might not be a right and a, a right and a wrong, but there's definitely a good and a bad. So, and it's not the most obvious choices. So it's like, <laughs> I'm just going completely exaggerated. But let's say, um, let's say. You, you cross uh, a homeless person on the street and they ask you for five dollars 
and you could either <laughs> I mean there's tons of things you could do but basically when you're thinking about it oh I could either give him five dollars or not give him five dollars and neither of those is a good or bad decision or a right or wrong decision but you could also light him on fire <laughs> Oh, my brain. Thanks. You could either light him on fire, you could do it, but it would be wrong of you. Or you could, uh, you could give him your house. You could give him your house and take his place, uh, in the homeless realm. Uh, which, which would be undoubtedly, uh, a very, a very kind, right, nice thing to do. I think I, I think I like what I'm wearing for now. So, I think that in every situation, you can think of something terrible to do in response and something really wonderful to do in response. Hey, I have a bathroom! Another day in the life, I suppose. Take a shower! Take a shower? Yeah! I'm so stoked to play this. Refreshing! Is that a pimple? Gross! Ugh, I don't want to make her sound so valid, girl. Whoops! Wait, no! We haven't used the bathroom! It's morning! Bathroom! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> she, I don't know if you can hear, but she farted. <laughs> Ooh! That monster is not even scary. Did she draw that? Interesting. No, we already looked at that. I'm so excited to play this game, guys. Nice! I've still got some of those pizza pouches left. Yeah! Pizza pouches! Place in microwave for two minutes, let cool for 30 seconds. Sure beats eating them frozen! Yay! Can I put them in the thingy? Sh what shall I microwave today? Um, let's my my microwave our beeper. Yeah, microwave. That's a word. Dark F's number. Pizza pouches. Collectibles. I... How do I... Ooh! Oh, I can save. Save, save. Did it work? I think it worked. Yes. All right. Not familiar with these uh, style games. Oh, my stamina is down there. I don't really. I, I honestly can't tell you what happens if it gets low or empty. Oh, that's where I put that dollar. Yay! Count sure has seen better days. A bunch of old dusty books I'll never read. Can you take any of them? Whoa! Ooh! Ooh! Ha ha ha! Third time's the charm! Do it again! Ah. Oh well. Turn off the lamp? Yes! Let's save electricity. Wah! Wah! It's too dark. Can we clean up? I wouldn't mind cleaning up for her. It's pretty... Hey, where's our... Dirty clothes are the least of my concern right now. Uh, where's Gabriel? I think I like what I'm wearing for now. Uh, come on, do some laundry and things. Do some laundry and things! Alright, what is this? Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention, tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately, or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter, and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney's fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with the building management as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, management. 30 days overdue. Pay up, Debbie. Aw, that's so mean. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see... Came to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you and my manager hates slackers. Before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late. Uh... Came to see. Okay. But you were. Don't be late. Alright, so we can't be late. Okay. Let's. Let's get there and try not to be. Hello, miss. Where is it? I know it's in here. 
Excuse me, Mrs. Tewilliger. Oh, pardon me, Glory. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know? We are... Uh, let's be nice. Uh, we are in a hurry. Uh, I don't know what to do already! I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your boyfriend? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. It's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done up by myself. Have a good day, Glory. I hope you find what you need. The, the music is, uh pretty loud to me. Waiting for the elevator. Waiting for the elevator. Cheap-ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. What is this? You found Indie Heroes figure number 24. What about this? There's some pretty unremarkable plastic flowers. Those are some pretty unremarkable plastic flowers. What? Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Shit! Hold it, you mangy punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap-on, clap-off thing installed last week. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business, business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe, or am I going to have to toss your ass, your ass out to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you've got to call your sugar daddy. You're out You're out of time, little girl. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Uh... No? No. Are you going to give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? Uh... No, he's a dick. Screw you, old man. You're not getting my key. What are you going to do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out. I don't need this shit. RUN! You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. Yay, run away! Dubstown. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for the first episode. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to see if we can find a way to meet rent and also take care of that job we have while helping little old ladies that live next door to us. See you then!